Hi guys, this is Andy from TechStore and uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you the procedure to disassemble the HP 240 and the 250 series of laptops. Now both of them have the same procedure and uh, the 240 is the 14 inches variant and the 250 is the 15.6 inches variant. So after watching this video you'll be able to upgrade the RAM, hard drive, put an SSD, uh, replace the DVD writer, Wi-Fi chip and all those things. Basically you reach to the base uh, where the motherboard is placed and you can literally uh, completely replace everything that is visible. Now if your laptop is uh, something which looks like this on the top, as you can see, it might be a black or a grey and uh, once uh, opened it looks like this and uh, the base of which is something like this. This is the basis, uh, then you can apply the procedure. Now you need to have uh, a set of screwdrivers uh, like this, you need to have a triangular prior or uh, prior of this kind or even a metallic prior if you have it handy and uh, I always suggest uh, people to have this kind of a partition box uh, as it becomes easy for them to put the different screws. Now to start things up uh, we need to basically clip the laptop and uh, remove the battery here. The battery is uh, held by these notches, you just need to press this one and uh, the battery will give away. Now we need to open each and every screw that is visible here to access uh, the base. Before which uh, people who want to just replace the DVD writer can just remove this one screw over here and uh, just push the DVD writer out and the DVD writer will be off. So people who want to uh, upgrade or maybe add another hard drive or SSD can actually take a HDD caddy and uh, put a hard drive. It's a 9.5 mm uh, HDD caddy and uh, 3.5 uh, SATA DVD writer that we have here. So 9.5 mm uh, casing is what is required. So we'll keep it aside. Now we need to open all the visible screws over here and there are some uh, hidden screws which we'll show you later. So let's start here. Alright, so all the visible screws have been uh, removed now. Now we need to uh, remove the screws which are there below these 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's see where all the screws are. Let's take a minus spin screwdriver and just protrude it over here. There are no screws here. So in this model basically there are no screws uh, below these uh, rudders but uh, some 240s and some 250s have screws below these. So just remove them, check them and uh, if there are screws you need to remove. So this is news for us, uh, some laptops are coming without screws hidden on the thing. Now once this has been removed, all the screws have been removed, now you are uh, good to remove the entire base. Now to remove the base you need to basically do it like this, open it up, take a triangle prior and start protruding on the sides very carefully. Now the screws have been removed, the base is also off, the base will come from this side, so we need to remove it like this because uh, these connectors are holding on to the other side. Alright, so let's remove the base, now the base is uh, open here for you and uh, the best part about this particular series is uh, availability of M.2. Uh, EVM SSD slot. Uh, you can see this particular uh, slot over here. You can put a MM second SSD over here. Apart from this hard drive, you can put another SSD. So this is a very good thing. Uh, but the entry level HP 240s and 250s don't have that. So keep that in mind. If you are having a Core i3 or a dual core, you might not have a M.2 unless you really open it. Uh, in different countries, it's uh, different motherboard that they've used. But uh, here in India, for a Core i5 variant, uh, they are giving a SSD M.2 slot. So this is the RAM area. They have two slots given here. Uh, DDR4 memory is what you need to use. 2400 megahertz uh, DDR4 memory. And uh, we need to upgrade the RAM here. So 
we are taking a DDR4 memory over here. As you can see, A data is the brand, and uh, 2400 megahertz low voltage memory is what we are taking. So we need to insert it like this and just press it. I'll show it again. If uh, you just want to remove this one of these, just need to use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove the notches. The memory will give away, and uh, you, need, you just need to put it back inside like this. This is the Wi-Fi chip. This is the hard drive. Uh, so coming to the hard drive, uh, we need to. If you want to upgrade the hard drive or the hard drive has gone bad and you want to replace it, uh, you just need to remove this connector here. Just pull it up, and uh, the connecting wire will be off. You need to remove this one screw over here. And then this one screw over here, this uh, daughter board will be off. And then you can remove the motherboard. Just pull it out. And this is a 2.5 SATA hard drive. Uh, and uh, it's a slim one. You can uh, upgrade up to 2 terabyte uh, this particular laptop. Just remove these uh, frame screws 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, just fit it back like this. Okay, put the screws back. Need to put the connector back. And we are good to go. Right, so this is a NGFF Wi Fi chip that they've used. Just remove this uh, one screw over here if you want to replace the. Wi-Fi chip with another uh, PCIe Express M.2 SSD, you can do it right away. This is the processor fan, so if you want to just uh, clean it up, just remove this one, two, three screws, remove the fan, and uh, you can clean the fan too. So the processor is not upgradable. Uh, you can always as well uh, put some heat uh, thermal paste by removing these four screws. And uh, maybe if it is two to three years from now, you are seeing this video, you would want to clean it up. This is the keyboard connector, and uh, this is the touchpad connector. All right, so pretty good design. Really happy with the uh, HP here. So now we will uh, reassemble it back. Alright friends, so this is a video showing you how to basically upgrade the RAM and the hard drive as well as put an M.2 SSD on the HP 240 and the 250 series of laptops. This is a 2018 variant that we have had a look at and uh, in the process we have also shown you how to replace the DVD writer and uh, basically get access to the motherboard and uh, replace the motherboard also. All these parts and components are available on our website techstore.co.in hope you liked the video guys uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, do let some suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us thank you so much guys